you're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Midrich here, and I am back with another video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the join button for channel memberships and check out the merch. And when you get your merch, make sure you use the discount code Marxes Suck. That is Marxes Suck, S U X. And I'm going to give you 10% off of your purchase. Let's get into this, folks. The Marxist NBA of China. And to be more specific here, we're mainly going to be talking about Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley made some controversial comments when it came to the virus and the vaccine and NBA and NFL players. Okay. Now he was on TNT's inside the NBA talking about this uh, virus. And by the way, folks, the virus has a 99.9% survival rate. And in many cases, these world-class athletes, since they're young and they're in peak physical condition, they're having almost no complications from this virus. Now, these players, you know, they're tested all the time. And if they test positive, of course, they're pulled out to go to quarantine. They do contact tracing. Uh, but however, as of late, and I'm not watching the game, so I'm not really sure about what's going on in the actual games. But apparently, you know, NBA rosters, they don't have enough eligible players to actually play games. And I really don't care. You know, that's their problem. Um, Once they got woke and went broke, I was out on it. You guys know the reason why. But games are being canceled right now or postponed, I should say, because not enough teams have enough uh, players. A lot of players are getting put on put on the uh, COVID-19 list. Okay, so in order for the games to continue on. This is what Charles Barkley said. Barkley said that NBA and NFL players should get preferential treatment for the vaccine because of the taxes they pay. Now, folks, we all know that they play, they pay extremely high taxes. We know that. OK. So Charles Barkley is insinuating that these athletes jump the line to get the vaccine. Just so they can play a game. Play a game where the ratings are in the trash. Playing a game where the ratings and the revenue is way down. And so many people have tuned out the NBA. Nobody is watching their product. Rhodes has done several videos where the ratings that actually got under a million viewers multiple times on NBA games. Even the NFL, their ratings are down also. But you want these world class athletes to take a vaccine before other people that actually do need it just because they pay higher taxes. If that's the case, man, you know, bit tech, you know, they might as well just jump the line even more. You know, your Jack Dorsey's, your Mark Zuckerberg's, uh, Bill Gates, because they have way more money than any of these NBA players. I think this is actually really, really stupid. I really, really do think this was a stupid comment by Charles, Bar- Charles Barkley. And I like Charles Barkley. I really, really do. Uh, Rhodes for Rhodes. That's his favorite uh, NBA player of all time right there. This just seems really, really idiotic. Okay. Now, Kenny Smith did disagree with, uh, with Barkley on this. He actually was arguing that it's a matter of life and death. Yes. For the elderly and people with, Pre-existing conditions, yes, it is a matter of life and death. This virus, how many NBA and NFL players has this virus taken? How many lives? Zero. I will save you the time. And all these players, man, they have recovered remarkably fast. They don't need to be jumping the line for anything. Charles Barkley, just because they pay high taxes. If that's the case, folks, then all the rich people out there, they'll get the vaccine way before, you know, your average Joe's and your poor people. You know, if that's the case, then, you know, these players, you know, they're they're always talking about uh, social justice. But if they go through with this, 
Why are you leaving the poor people out to dry just so you guys can actually play a game that nobody is watching? I really, really do disagree with Charles Barkley's take on this. This really does not make any sense. Now, I'm wondering, though, will the NBA actually enforce vaccination on every single player? Now, Adam Silver, he's not going to go. At least he said he's not going to go for what uh, Charles Barkley said, because he said uh, a few months ago that the NBA would not jump the line. And I don't know what Roger Goodell's stance is on this, but I'm pretty sure he's going to say we're not going to jump the line either. If the NFL and NBA players are given a vaccine before or, you know, bump them up the line before a whole bunch of other people, the public is going to destroy these leads. They are. The ratings already on decline for both leads, man. They won't have a league if news gets out that NBA and NFL players took the vaccine just because they pay high taxes. It's not going to fly. I can't believe Charles Barkley even said this. There's no way in the world. These leads already have um, uh, public relation issues with their image, especially the NBA. It's not going to, it's not going to happen. And I'm wondering folks, how many of these NBA players are actually going to take the vaccine? Now, I don't know if the NBA can necessarily enforce every single player and staff member to actually get the vaccine. I really don't know. Not everybody wants to take this vaccine. Um, there's a lot of um, people that are very, very skeptical about this vaccine. They really, really are. I'm not a doctor. I'm not telling you what to do. You do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I want to also. But Charles Barkley, man, what do you guys think of his statement on the NBA and the NFL? Should these players actually jump to the front of the line to take a vaccine with a 99% survival rate that really doesn't affect these world-class athletes. We've seen player after player test positive, and guess what, folks? They're back in like five days. Five days. And a lot, a lot of these people, man, they're asymptomatic. You know, they're asymptomatic. Like right now, I feel great. I could have the virus. I don't know. But I, it's not affecting me. They don't need to be jumping the line whatsoever. Give the vaccine to those in need first, which is the elderly, you know, and then go from there, you know, first responders, uh, doctors, those people are the ones that should be getting this vaccine first. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this black and white sports fans? Charles Barkley, man. I like you, man. But this really was just a dumb, dumb statement. And I don't know if some of you guys are going to say, Hey, let them go ahead and, uh, and take the uh, vaccine. You know, if some of them just uh, have a lot of side effects, good for them because of social justice and all that. But I, I, I want to be serious about this. I really, really want to be serious about this. The vaccine should go to those most in need first. First responders, your elderly, uh, basically people over 65 years old. They should get it first. Not some 20-year-old athlete that is in world-class condition. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.